who doesn't love angels and that loving warm feeling of connection watch this video tutorial to follow my easy step-by-step -step process on making an angel painting in oil pastels For creative inspirations and helpful art tips on painting with oils and oil pastels, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified when I post a new video every week. When I first got the idea of wanting to paint angel painting, the first thing I did was looking through some historical angel paintings on Pinterest. Now, there are many of them from the Renaissance period, and those angel paintings from the Renaissance are actually the most iconic. So when we think of an angel art, uh, those are the ones that most immediately come to mind. So many of these angel faces have pretty round face contour, and that's what I want to go for. And I just chose one of those as my reference and based my painting loosely on it. Once you've identified a reference photo you want to use, the next step is to sketch it. I usually would sketch with directly with a bit of oil paint and a brush, but because this painting is really quite small, as you can see, um, and it's really hard to get the, you know, the um, eyes like the features on the face, so that's when I used a pencil. So if you want to see how I start an oil pastel without a pencil, directly with paint and brush, click on the video that's on the um, top right corner and it will lead you to that video where I don't use any pencils. And do you like to do your initial sketch with pencil, brush, or charcoal? I'm really curious, so please let me know by leaving a comment below. Once I got my sketch done, the next step is simply to block in the background. And I am using different shades of blue, as you can see. I you after I uh, block in with oil pastel stick, I will use a brush and dip that brush in a little bit of gamso and then I will just apply them over my oil pastel as you can see they would that would dissolve the oil pastel and I chose yellow for the angels halo and wings for the stronger effect the stronger effect of contrast To begin working on the angel, the angel's face, I work from dark to light. So first I will block in the shadows of the angel's face with blue, dark gray, dark brown, and then moving on to her red cheeks. And then I'll add an overall layer of skin color using my fingers and paper stamp to blend everything together. Now here's a little technique I want to share because this painting is quite small An oil pastel stick was too big for the little details like the eyes So what I did was um, I used a brush, I dipped that brush with a little bit of gamso, a tiny bit of gamso Then rub that against the oil pastel stick to get the paint on the brush And then I used the brush to paint the eyes So that's how I used the oil pastel to get in those small tiny places Pastels are really great for layering, especially Sennelier's oil pastel. So I am adding a second layer of very light yellow over her skin area, followed by using white to add some highlights to make her face glow. And all this time, I am just using either my fingers or a paper stamp to blend. 
After I painted the angel, I decided that I would like the background to be darker than the light blue, so that the angel and her light, her glowing face really stands out against the darker background. So I layer a dark gray, or was it probably black, over the background and just blend it with the underlying blue. And I also added a little bit more yellow, another layer of yellow to her wings and the halo, because I really, you know, like. The build up of the paint and just use the um, oil pastel sticks and some color that you have already used on this painting to make some marks to experiment with some mark making and making some fun patterns before I show you the final painting the finished piece just a quick note to let you know that if you would like to get in-depth tutorials on using oil pastels and oil paint to create colorful and magical paintings I have many exclusive in-depth tutorials for you on my patreon page and I would love for you to check that out before the oil pastel got dry I used a bamboo skewer to scribble some writings around her halo that says ask and it is given and also on her collar that says do not let your heart be troubled and I just really love those if you like this video please let me know by clicking the like button subscribe and share it with your friends and comment below if this video is helpful or inspiring to you or if you have any questions for me and I will see you in the next one bye